Okay, Ezreal first pick. I do. I don't want to see the the Twitch Yumi. I don't want to see it. So. I feel like they just need to play like okay. things that don't need to actually yeah, this is exciting. We have a effect on the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Game. Loss, I don't know, I do man. I don't know. Of course, Volibear instead of Lily Karthus Kindred. Come on. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of Volibear into Wukong. I just feel like Wukong ends up being more useful. Champions Pretty like easily. I mean, Blabber is a good volleyball Waste player. Let's see if there's other places he could dive. Right, right, GP. I, I don't really like the GP. Uh, I mean, I guess you. Well this. But Kale is I guess you can't really go or in volleyball plus AP mid. So if you if you have a lack of AP or AD champions mid, maybe you can't go or. Oh wow. Is that going to be Swain top or is it going to be Swain support? I guess we're going to find out. Okay. I mean, I would assume it's going to be Swain top because Whippa, right? Like he was the original Swain guy. The core JJ Bard. All right. I don't really like Kale's team comp that much. Like, right? I like some of the picks yeah, individually, but I don't like the team comp. With, I mean, Corky you have a is TL squad whatever. I mean, Corky's fine until the blocks. To do so. I don't know if I would yeah, want Corky here, Champions though. I just feel like this Volibear right? is completely LeBlanc, homeless, dude. Look at like, look, like, look at where the Volibear like look at the lanes. Where does what does Volibear do here? What does Volibear do in this game? Actually, I would I would just hate my life if I was playing Volibear and this is what I saw. Okay, so I'm Volibear with Corky, Twitch Yumi, and GP. I guess the only place I can gank is top lane, which is a sway, and I'm against the LeBlanc an Ezreal and that I could ever get. I don't really, know, bro. Not great nah, with, with Ghost, that wouldn't work. Oh, Bjergsen with the flash. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Jensen is chilling here. He's going to have to walk all the way back. All right, King is doing it. Oh, my God. Destiny and King with the synergy. My God. All right. Literally the only time that you can attach them here that... Your AD. That was just a barrier and heal use just for that. All right, nice. Okay, okay. Looking to attack and they're gonna try to set up a dive here. CL looking for it. King tries to get away. There comes some Bard CC yet again, but it ain't enough. They don't get the stun, so King gets out. Here comes Cloud Jensen. Nine is sending the cavalry. I mean, this should be really, really good for Cloud Nine, right? Cloud Nine should win this hardest. Uh, all right, it's good, it's good. Oh, but Bjergsen, there's a reason he's the king of NA. So GP ulted bot, and they still lost the fight. That's that's really cool for Fudge. I'm sure he's happy about that one. When you're playing GP, and you ulti bot lane, and then your bot lane still loses, you're just hyped up. I bet you screaming in the comms. King is going to be down a lot this game. Okay, this is pretty good. I like this. I like this. That's good, that's good. It's the ulti from Fudge. Looking for the play, I like th this. is really good so for C9, TL especially considering they're the Yumi Twitch side. It's really nice. Are there ERLs in the US, like tier two teams that are not academy? It's like tier three, it's, it's amateur. Then there's like Collegiate, which is also something, I guess. Oh, Blabber. Gets it. Uses the ult. Oh, really nice for C9. I mean, circumstance wise, C9 is winning. It just really sucks for Jensen that Gerson got two kills like that. Just four Dark Tail stacks when he laned pretty well. Academy players also get free rent and food. Yep. I'm not sure what the most paid Academy player is, but I heard that there was one Academy player that was making 400k a year to play in Academy. So you got some really like, you got some really high contracts. How? Because like the players that come in that are supposed to be going to LCS soon. Are, are worth a lot because they're gonna like if you want to buy them they're gonna have million plus dollar buyouts yeah i mean when they're when their buyouts like one million the player's not gonna sign unless they're getting paid decent money but a TP's coming in. C9 is ready to still try to do something here, but King in particular must be careful without that flash, as you said. Whippo pulling a couple of them forward here, ripping out some more of those soul fragments. C9 grouped up as five. I mean, Blabber. Oh my God, Blabber. Do we really want to hard engage here? Blabber, who's in the most trouble. My God, do we want to hard engage here? Wait, I thought that we had the Corky team cop and we were going to poke. Oh my God, Blabber just threw the whole game. Oh my God. Dude, why did he just lose his mind? Wait, why did he do that? Why why actually did he do that? Does anyone know why he did that? Like, they have Corky. They, they want to poke. Wait, let me see. Wait, I don't understand. He's like, he's Half-Life. They have Corky. They want to poke. Right, you're actually setting up the team fight that they want. Blabber's already chunk low, does flash in. The arcane shift and flash were there from Han. Blabber goes into the stasis, and then Whippo is coming in behind. Remember, King has no flash. How is he ever going to be able to get out of this situation? I, I can't, bro. I can't. What did I just witness, bro? What did I just witness? 
Johnson. Like, but that, that just looked like mean spirited from Blabber. Like he, like he just said, like King, Destiny, you guys will never, never can play an LCS again. And then he just runs in just right afterwards. Oh, it's just doomed. It's just so. Oh wait, Blipo's kind of running it. And King is dead. I hate watching this, bro. I hate this. God, it's so disheartening because I thought C9 had like a like this was about to be a good game, you know? Like C9 was scaling, okay. Like are, they have the uh, Yumi Twitch, they have the Corky that just got Muramana. Like this is gonna be a solid game. It's gonna. I want to see how TL actually finds a way to win this one. But then like C9 just runs it down and just gives them a free win. Fudge factor going in. Oh, the fudge factor. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. That's a horror right there. Wow, this is really depressing. Not gonna lie, this is pretty depressing. This isn't the normal summer split where eight teams make playoffs, man. Like, might actually be hard for C9 to, to get into playoffs if CLG ends up looking legit. Because the problem is that, like, you expect TL, Hunter Thieves, EG, um, to all have spots, right? And then if CLG looks decent, and then, like, let's say, uh, like, Immortals starts with two, with, uh, two wins, or TSM actually starts getting their together like it could actually be tough to make playoffs to make top six oh Han Sama went for it bro the E flash god damn the E flash exhaust but how sad would it be if they played like Destiny's a competitive player right he's been playing support professionally since literally at least 2017, at least 2016, I think. Like he's been dedicating his life, and then Zven just roll swaps and is better in the first, like, week. That would be really depressing. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Wait, why why is Fudge hitting up the Discord? Literally during the game I just see Fudge say the game's fing lost. Look at it. I mean it's clearly on a delay, right? So he's already <laughs> the game's already over for him. But he responds he says the game's fing lost, man. Look at it. And I said, focus on the game. It's still winnable. He said, look at it, bro. All caps. And then I said, I'm looking, man. You can win. And he said, cope. Copium. All caps. Jesus. All right. Okay.